While some were excited when the Frank R. Lautenberg Chemical Safety Act for the 21st Century was signed into law this year and updated chemical regulatory policy in the United States, the new law makes no mention of endocrine disruption. The law only requires review of 25 chemicals in the first three and a half years by the Environmental Protection Agency. If there are only 500 potentially hazardous substances among the thousands of chemicals already in use, and those chemicals still lack toxicity testing data, it would take 100 years to complete their review. Other problems in the Lautenberg Law include the framework of screening chemicals into high and low priority groups. While the Act prioritizes carcinogens, chemicals with known and immediate effects, and persistent and bioaccumulative agents, it fails to consider explicitly endocrine disruption as a factor in prioritization. Investments are urgently needed to improve EPA toxicological testing methods, but were not required in the Lautenberg Act. In Europe, further revisions to the criteria for endocrine disruptors are needed. A grave concern is that the European Commission has proposed strict criteria for causality as a severe burden for proof prior to limiting chemical exposures. Specifically, effects in humans will be required prior to action, when in many cases such effects could take decades to document in observational studies. Should this proposal be adopted, many endocrine disruptors with human exposure will escape identification, eroding the high level of protection enshrined in the EU pesticide and biocide laws, and violating the demand for scientifically based endocrine disruptor criteria. Recently, we evaluated a limited number of EDC exposures for which the evidence was greatest, linking exposures to diseases and dysfunction. Six peer-reviewed manuscripts were published attributing EDC exposures in Europe to healthcare costs totaling over 160 billion euro annually. These evaluations represent conservative estimates because they examined only 15 exposure outcome relationships for which there is substantial probability for causation. In addition, because they did not include many indirect costs of chronic diseases due to EDCs and evaluated fewer than 5% of all EDCs, the cost estimates are likely to represent only a small subset of the true costs of EDCs in Europe. Based on data from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, a similarly large burden of disease may be attributable to EDCs in the United States. Exposures to EDCs in the U.S. are in many cases equal to, if not greater than, those in the European Union.